Welcome to Regime Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 14 of ASP.NET video series. In this session, we'll learn about the properties, methods and events of an ASP.NET button, link button and image button controls. All these three button controls in ASP.NET are used to post or submit a page to the server for processing. The button control is used to display a push button. We use the text property to change the text that appear on that control. Let's look at the demo. Let's drag and drop the button control from the toolbox. We have actually been working with the button control in this video series. So here on the button you see the text. I mean this is the standard button control which appears as a push button. To change the text we use the text property of the button control. So at the moment the text is button but I want to change that to submit. As soon as I change that you see the submit key uh, word on the button control. When I double click that the event handler gets generated and let's say I want to print out a message to the response stream stating that button clicked or let's call submit button clicked. The next button type that we talk about is the link button. And if you look at the link button, it's very much similar to a hyperlink. I mean, the look and feel of the link button, it appears like a hyperlink, but then it behaves like a button. Okay, so we use hyperlink to navigate to another page. Whereas this link button control, when you click that, it posts back to the same page. And to change the text that appears on this link button, you, you, we use the text property. So let's change that to submit. And obviously when I double click that, the event handler for the link button gets generated. And let's say link button clicked. All right. The next button type we have is the image button. As the name states, it's possible to associate an image with this button control. At the moment, we don't have an image associated, so it displays, uh, you know, just like a little dot. So let's associate an image with this button. And to do that, we need to have an image within our application. So let's copy an image into this application. I have this submit image. So let's create images folder within our application. So add new folder, let's say images. And let me copy this and paste that into this images folder. All right, so to associate an image with the image button, we use the image URL property of the image button control. So we have the image URL property, click the ellipsis button, navigate to the images folder and then select the image. Click OK. Now the image is associated with the image button. When we double click this, the event handler gets generated and let's say image button is clicked. So obviously, as you might expect, if we run the application, click the respective buttons, we know, you know that message will be shown. So obviously when you click the button, the web form will be submitted to the server and then it will be processed and the respective message will be shown. So if I click the link button, link button clicked. All right. Now, there are several properties as far as this all as as far as all these three buttons are concerned, like command name, command argument. We will be talking about these properties when we talk about command button in the next video session. We will talk about causes validation and validation group when we discuss about validation controls. And we will talk about the postback URL property when we talk about cross-page postback. So until then, don't worry about these um, properties. Now, one of the most important properties, uh, you know, with, with all of these three button controls is the on client click property. Okay, so we can use that property to associate some JavaScript that we want to run in response to the click event on the client. Now, we know that when we, you know, click this button control, when we run this project and click this button control, the page will be posted back to the server. Okay, now remember the client for the web application is a browser. Now, when we click the button, the click event can happen on the browser that's on the client as well as on the server. So in response to the click event on the client, you can do some processing. And obviously, uh, 
since the client is the browser and the browser can only understand JavaScript so you will have to write JavaScript to respond to the client click event whereas on the server side you can write that in C sharp VB or any .NET supported language so basically what we need to understand here is that you know the button control any button control push button or link button or image button all of the three button controls they expose click event on the client and on the server and we can do some interesting things with a click event on the client. We, we have seen, you know, what can the click event on the server side do. You know, you can print out a message or you can save a record into the database. You can delete records, etc. Uh, similarly, on the client side, we can do several interesting things. For example, let's say when I click the button, you know, you can show a confirmation to the user. You are about to submit this page or, uh, you know, many of the sites you might have seen when you are navigating along and when you click a specific button and and if you are about to go to another site you will get a message stating that you are about to leave this website and once you click OK you will be navigated to another site or for example when when you are about to place an order you might get a confirmation you are about to place an order and then once you as soon as you click OK the, the web page will be posted to the server and the order will be placed and another variation you know you might have several records and then accidentally when you click the delete button in, on one of the records on the web form you, you might get a pop-up like this are you sure you want to delete this record okay I mean if you have accidentally clicked on delete then you have another choice to cancel the post back thereby you wouldn't delete the record okay so things like this can be done on the client side using JavaScript and obviously these are in response to the click event on the client side okay so if you look at these button controls for example if you take the image button control and if I go to the properties of this image button control there is this property called on client click and then to this property you can specify the client look at the help the client side script that is executed uh, on a client side click event so we can write the JavaScript that we want to execute. Let's say, for example, when I click this button, I want that confirmation, you know, you are about to submit the, the one that we have just seen. Okay. So if we want that confirmation, we need to write the JavaScript. Okay. So in JavaScript, there is a function, you know, alert function, which can show this pop-up. So let's make use of that alert function. So all you have to do is alert. So we are saying alert, we are, we are using the alert function which displays this message, I mean this message box and to that function you pass in this, uh, you can pass in this message. You are about to submit this page. So to this function I am passing in the message you are about to submit this page. That's it. So now when we run this page and when we click that button as soon as we click that button we get a message look at that you are about to submit this page upon clicking OK look at this we didn't get that server side message yet so once I click OK that's when the web form will be posted and we get this message back okay now if you look at this confirmation it's like I mean you only can do one thing you can just click OK you cannot do anything else but let's say we want the user to cancel the post back. Is that possible? Absolutely. You can cancel the post back as well. And to do that, we have another function in JavaScript called uh, um, confirm function that we can make use of. As you can see in the slide, the confirm function of the JavaScript displays this message box, uh, which has got two buttons, OK and cancel. When you click OK, the web page will be posted back to the server and the server side click event will be executed whereas when you click cancel the the web form will not be posted to the server and then in the click event of this in the server side click event if you are deleting a record you know that wouldn't that wouldn't happen because the page itself didn't get posted to the server okay let's see how to achieve this again this is pretty straightforward let's do that for the link button okay so i go to f4 and then again even the link button has got that property on client click okay instead of doing that through the designer let's th do that through the source so I have the link button here and we can specify the client click property 
so on client click so here we specify the JavaScript that we want to run in response to the client click event and to do that we use the confirm function so confirm and we pass in a message to that are you sure you want to delete okay now the interesting thing about this confirm function is if you look at the slide you know when you click the OK button the confirm function returns true when you click the cancel button the confirm function return false so when it returns false we want to tell the we want to return that value to the server to I mean to the browser not to submit the page to the server so here we have to return use the return keyword so whatever this function returns if it returns true return the true so that the web form will be submitted to the server for processing if it returns false return false which will prevent the web form from being submitted to the server so this return keyword is important here whatever the function is returning return that value and the browser will take the appropriate action so now when we run this let's close this run this now and when we click the link button it should show us that confirmation box are you sure you want to delete when I click OK look at this if I cancel it doesn't post back to the server and I don't see that message whereas when I click OK it gets posted back to the server and the server side click event is handled alright so this is very useful property we use it a lot of time on this slide, you can find resources for ASP.NET, C Sharp, and SQL Server interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.